Hey cuties! So in today's role playing video, we held the Bachelorette in Brookhaven. <laughs> Don't you just think it's crazy though that everyone around here seems to have a boyfriend but me? I am. Um, it's crazy, isn't it? Even Ayla has a boyfriend. That just isn't right. Ugh, I don't know what it is. Try. I'm always trying and putting myself out there. But nobody ever asked me out. I... Maybe the problem is that I need to ask them out. I mean, boys are so clueless, right? So maybe that's the key. Enough! I can't take it anymore! Um, rude. Come on, girly. The complaining is non-stop. You're lucky I haven't dug my eardrums out by now. This is like some sort of water torture. I really don't know how water has anything to do with this, but okay. Sorry if my crisis is bothering you so much. Later that same evening. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Nah, it just started. Eek, I love the Bachelorette season. It's the best. I swear, sometimes it's like a rose is gonna come out of that TV and we'll be named as a new Bachelorette. Yeah, you are so crazy sometimes, girly. And now for a very special announcement. Tryouts and the filming for the new season of The Bachelorette will take place next week in Brookhaven. <laughs> Turn to page 107 in your textbooks. Uh, hi, hey, textbook days. Ashley, this means you too. Come on now, get out your textbook. Shh, I don't need to take out a dumb book and read. It's pointless. Um, well, when you're in this class, yeah, I think you do. Excuse me, but I'm gonna be Brookhaven's next bachelorette. And be the one to go home with a rose and a man. So, no, I don't think reading a silly textbook is good use of my time. <gasps> Oh my gosh, she's gonna be on The Bachelorette too! So why do you care? Wait, what do you mean too? Well, that is very nice that you're trying out for that TV program, but for now, you still need to open your textbook, Bachelorette or not. To be honest, I am not surprised that Ashley signed herself up for that show. I mean, it's kind of silly when you think about it. I mean, honestly, who would want to be on that show anyways? Yeah, about that. If you want me to read that textbook, you're gonna me to do it because I refuse. I kind of signed you up for the show. You did what? Well, it's just that you were really upset over not having a boyfriend, so I kind of figured that maybe this would help. But now that I think about it, maybe I should have checked with you first. Excuse me, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Can I please be excused from class for a minute? I just need to go scream at my best friend in private. Uh, sure. I don't know if I can get you a whole pass for that one, though. Moments later. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you totally deserve it. What on earth were you thinking? Even after I told you I don't want to be on the show. I know, I know. It was just dumb. I just don't like seeing you sad. Figured that maybe you'd be mad first, but then it would pass. Oh, it's not passing. How could you do this to me? I told you. All you did was complain about not having a boyfriend, and this seemed like the best solution. Okay, well, if that's the case, then you need to call them right now and tell them that I changed my mind before they expect me to show up there. Uh, Sky, no, you have to get me out of it. It's just, I don't know, maybe it'll be good for you. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Well, at the very least, just do it to make Ashley mad. Just imagine the look on her face when she realizes that you're her competition. It might be one for the yearbook. Uh, I don't know. Please, girly, please. I mean, how many times in your life are you going to be able to say that you've been on The Bachelorette? More times than most people, I'll tell you that. If you think it's gonna be so great, then why don't you do it? Oh, come on. I mean, how bad could it be? 
several days later. Oh my god, I look ridiculous! Yeah, ridiculously gorgeous! You better stop kissing up, Sky. You already know I'm gonna get you back for this. And you will never see it coming. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm making you go on a little speed date with different cute boys who might give you a rose at the end of the night. Clearly, I'm a monster. Yeah, speaking of that, what happens if nobody picks me? I mean, the whole point is the guy has to be interested, but what if none of them are? What if they're all under, like, Ashley's spell? Well, lucky enough for you, it turns out that three different super cute boys are all interested in you, so you're gonna go on three different dates. Three? Really? And who is the bestest best friend ever? I'm waiting to hear it! Don't get carried away. Um, this is a private event? What are you two freaks doing here? I'm surprised they even let you in and didn't call animal control. Oh, didn't you hear? We're your date. to meet your first dates. Please all make your way to your seats. Well, it looks like you losers are about to start. Nice one, girl, but maybe could you have refrained from calling me a loser, too? Sorry, I was in the moment. Oh, hey, you must be my first date of the night. Hi, nice to meet you. Wow, you certainly are beautiful enough to be the bachelorette of Brookhaven, if you don't mind me saying. Aw, that's so sweet. And no, I don't mind people complimenting me. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I've never been on this side of The Bachelorette before. Usually I'm in my PJs watching the show from my couch. Oh, yeah, of course. Hmm, what to tell you about me? Oh, I know. Well, anyone who knows me knows the most important girl in my life is... Oh, you already have a girl in your life? For sure. She's my whole world. The number one girl in my life. Here, here she is. This is Lady. Oh! Oh, she's a dog. Phew. What do you mean she's a dog? Don't put her down like that. She's so much more than that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just meant, well, the way you made it sound, it sounded like she was almost your girlfriend. So you're saying because she's my dog, she can't also be my girlfriend? Let me tell you something. She will always be the most important girl in my life till the day I die. And any girl that doesn't love Lady has no room in my life. Wait, are you? <gasps> you're one of the aren't you? I'm sorry, I'm one of what? A cat person! Get away from me! Yeah, okay, I am totally gonna kill Sky. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, I guess you're my second date. Yeah, I guess so. Is this food for us? I'm starving. Nom, 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 Uh, I guess so, but I think the point is more for us to talk and get to know each other than for us to eat. Nom, 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 that was really good food. Aren't you hungry? Um, I was, but not really anymore. So, you're not gonna eat your food? Oh, um, I... So, do you mind if I eat it? Knock yourself out, I guess. Sweet! Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, something tells me that I'm probably not gonna be very hungry for the rest of the night. So, tell me about yourself. Do you have any hobbies or interests? Nom, nom, I like to jump off of stuff. Nom, nom, nom. Very interesting. What about what you want to be when you grow up? Something that maybe has to do with culinary arts that looks like that interests you? Nom, nom, nom. I haven't thought about it. Nom, nom, I don't like art. Nom, nom, nom. Culinary art is food, but never mind. So, uh, do you have any questions for me? Nom, nom, nom. Uh, nah, I'm good. That's nice. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely killing Sky. A few moments later. Hey, girly, what are you doing? No, I am here to kill you because this whole night has been a disaster. Oh no, what do you mean? I mean, the first one only talked about his dog the entire time. And he made it clear that no girl would ever be as important to him. And the second one was just totally gross. Wait, that's only two. Weren't you supposed to go on three things? Yeah, but I'm not looking to wait around and see what other tricks the universe has in store for me. I gave it a try and I'm ready to go home. No, girly, you can't leave. Maybe this one will be destiny. I really don't want to stick around and see what else awaits me. Considering how bad the other two were, thanks, but no thanks. Come on, you made it this far already. I mean, you got to give him a chance. If he's bad, I'll shut up about it and never make you do anything ever again. Ugh, fine. 
Meanwhile... No, not really. Ew, ew, ew. Somebody get me out of here. Hey, uh, I think I'm your next date. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Whatever. Whoa, I mean, yeah, of course. Please sit down. Thanks. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. This night hasn't exactly gone how I wanted. Yeah, me neither. Oh, so I'm not the only one who's having a terrible time? Phew. Um, no, not at all. I was literally compared to a dog, and that was the good date. Wow, I can't imagine how someone could do that to you. You're gorgeous. Really? Yeah, I mean, I kind of hoped when I came here tonight that I'd meet someone cool, but I never thought I'd meet someone like you. Aw, that's so sweet. I didn't think I would meet someone either. Actually, after meeting you, I may have to tell my best friend that she was right. Hey, did your best friend put you up to doing the show? Yeah. Mine too! Wow, what a small world. Hey, uh, Mackenzie, uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. What is it? Will you accept this rose? Yes, yes, I would love to. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and congratulations to Amber for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done.